What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another Photoshop tutorial. Yes, sir. And today we're going to create this dope grunge inspired cover art design. Now today I don't want to wrap you guys up too much before we have it to it. Just, this is a grunge punk art inspired design. I seen like this grunge paper brownish tone. I just felt like it would definitely fit well with this cover art. So I was just like, let me just do a quick one just so you guys could get some inspiration for, you know, the upcoming week, stuff like that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment so you don't miss a drop and just leave that like so they know this video. Now, if you haven't yet, like I said, you guys can try out Envato Elements down in the description below. You can try your trial, try it out. Use it on your next cover art. They got a various different overlays, different photos, different fonts to create your cover art and royalty free. So check them out. I'm telling you, I use them all the time. I'm locked in. I got my little monthly payment. Y'all should tap in. All right, so first you're gonna load up your image into Photoshop. I got this picture right here, Fabio Foreign. I found it on Google. <laughs> you just kind of want to frame it up. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want his head like in the middle right there. You're just gonna duplicate it just so you always have that extra backup in case you're gonna go ahead and rasterize this bad boy right here. We wanna go ahead and get him up out of here. Select subject. Make sure everything that you wanna select is selected. Command shift I, delete. And you know, you just wanna throw a little bit of feathering on there so it's all nice and smooth. You feel like two right there. Delete it one time, delete it twice. And deselect. That's looking cool already. So now we're going to get to, you know, the juxt of it. Here we go. You want to make this a black and white. Oh, we're going to convert to smart job jack one more time. You're going to make this a black and white. Boop, like that. Convert, like create a clipping mask. Boom. Adjust the colors how you want. I'm going to make them a little bit lighter. Just because of the the effect that we're going for, we want it like pretty good. Bomb. That's cool right there. All right, so black and white. Then we're gonna just duplicate this one more time. Boom. And then we're actually gonna make it black and white one more time, but we're gonna actually make it black and white on the actual image. So filter, image adjustments. Black and white, it's the same thing, but now this one is directly on it, and the other one is a clipping mask, as you can see. Make sure y'all always saving y'all work too, man. Don't want to get caught slipping. So then for this one, we're gonna just add a little motion blur to it. Filter, blur, motion blur. You want that distance kind of going a little crazy. Give it some, you know, some vibe. Give it that like, I don't know. You want it to look like Distort a little bit. All right, boom. I like that right there. All right, wave warp. You want to go distort wave. They got different generators. You want to get like this. You can randomize it a different time. Get different type of vibe that you want. See what they got going on. Grip bow 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 bow. Grip. Give it a little warp. Like you see what I'm saying? It's there, but it's not like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna just add a little blur onto there. Uh, blur. Gaussian blur on this one specifically to give it like a blown out feeling. Boom. Cool. So basically after you have all this wave warp going on, you just want to make some adjustments. I really just want to bring it down. I just want to, I like using it to give it like some glowy, you know, dark ghostly effect. As you can see, that's what you're getting here. Like it's ghost like. Now for this one, you want to add a, right over here, black and white, you want to add another adjustment layer, you want to add curves. Right click, make sure it's only on affecting that image. Add the curves, add some curves so you get like a nice little, like a dark uh, grunge look. You want mostly a white feeling on it because of the type of vibe we're going for. That printed dark vibe look. Um, Bust that overlay down on there. Put it at 
curves. I've dropped the curves down to like 60. Boom. Now we want to add some grain in there just so we can get some of the that uh that bob. That's all I can say. So pretty much what we're gonna do is just create a uh, create a new layer. You're gonna fill it with like light gray or whatever. Light to medium. Just fill it in. Filter noise. You're gonna add some noise and we're acting uh, monochromatic because that's kind of the vibe we're going for. And we're just doing some nice smooth uh grain like that. And with grain, you know you always gotta hit it with the screen. Get it overlay, we do soft light, hard light. You probably do screen like this, light in screen. We're gonna go light in, then you're gonna add another adjustment layer, another curves on top of the grain that you just created. Create that. Ooh, ooh. And then bring that down. You get a nice little cool bob on the grain that you like. I kind of like that. Right there. That. And then I just bring the opacity down on the grain a little bit so it's not as harsh. Cool. I like that. Let's add another type of texture on there. Let's add this one right here, just to see if the texture uh, is gonna be booming on there or not. Same thing when I hit a little dark in, a little more quiet. I kinda like that a little bit better. Boom, I like that, like, cause I want to look like newspapery vibes. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna adjust the curves on that one. So add curves, same thing. Create a clipping mask. Hit it with the bit, hit it with some dots or whatever the fuck. Boom. And you just want to get it to, you know what I'm saying? It's all how you trying, what the vibe is that you really want to portray. I can't really say like, oh, it's supposed to look like this, look like that. It's just the look that you're going for. This kind of, I like that. So we're going to save that. Now we're going to add some levels. To the main one, so we're gonna add some levels right here. Create new adjustment layer, levels right here. And you want to get that level to get it like a, a nice, cool little uh, threshold -y look. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much I got this photocopy and yeah, we want to kind of invert this so it's black and then we want to go ahead and um, just test out the different blending modes until you find something that that you like, that you want to um, fit the vibe. Ooh. And on that opacity, I'm going to bring this one down just a little bit more too. That is there. But it's not there. So cool. We got this nice little grunge vibe with the dirt and the flame and all that stuff. So we got all that good stuff. All right, so now that we got that, let's get some text popping on here. Let's type in feel. My. I probably put struggle on another line. So that was movie. Viral. Bye. It's kind of connected, but it's not. So what we're going to do is. Take both of these and convert it to a smart object. I'm gonna name this like title. All right, so after you create this title, right? We gotta start adding some effects to it. You can do the filter, you wanna blur, Gaussian blur, and it's just a little bit. Give it that, you know, kind of printed off printed vibe. Mine's, I might as well go for a good three right here. Boom. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a uh, ripple on there as well. Go to distort, 
ripple you know I put mine on small I can't really see it too heavy you'll be able to see a little bit more when it comes out all right babe. and then from there you can be able to adjust the ripple because it's a small object right over that you're going to create a new threshold layer boom so now it's going to give you that like you know that kind of painted and rustic type of look boom and you just want to create a clipping mask for it to be on there and this is what's going to give you that like that rugged vibe rugged look whatever save that all right so now after you do all of that we're going to go ahead and lock in filter we're looking for displacement so distort displace so 10 by 10 we just keep it how it is embed file wrap repeated edges stretch to fit press ok now i already have my psd but pretty much all you want to do is find a texture online, a concrete texture, stone, any type of texture that you want to displace with, and then just literally save it as a PSD. So then when you click it, it uploads just like that. And it's the concrete. Now, if I, if I would have done anything else, I could have done stone, a brick, anything like that. So, so I'd probably take that, make it a folder. We're going to name that title. Turn this back on. Now we got to fill my struggle right here in the back. I'll stretch that out. All right, so what I'll do after the title is pretty much set, we're gonna go ahead and create a smart object so that all those effects get locked in. So I kind of like that at the top, but I think I want Fabio at the top. I think I'm gonna put Feel My Struggle like down here. And I'm gonna grab this, grab this, and just move it up. I want them to still see the parts of my man head, you know what I'm saying? Got them good parts right there, my boy. Right there, probably put Feel My Struggle on top. Like that, I probably add a little gradient map or a gradient. Make sure this is black and white. Go ahead and create gradient. We're gonna go from the bottom here. There we go. Adjust the scale to where you need it to be. I want those different chains. So it's kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Right there. Save that. Go ahead. We're going to type in Fabio Foran. Same thing. What you're gonna do is because I want to flip it, you're gonna go to edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then we have to do that same thing with the other image as well. Transform, flip horizontal, so they stay together. Click on both of them, and then we're moving over like that. There we go. Put his face more or less in here, right there. Keep it like a good middle spacing. I got this parental advisory sticker right here. Make it small. Put that thing right here in this corner. So I think the background is just missing a little type of flavor. So I think I wanna grab some sort of city background. All right, so I got this image of New York City off of pixels. All I'm doing is stretching it out, boom. Boom, I'm putting that right up underneath the Fabi image. And now it looks like it's a lot going on. I really like how it has that cloud with the, I really like lightning bolts. If y'all don't, if y'all haven't uh, 
peep that. Yeah, I really love lightning bolts. On top of the city, kind of low. And maybe like that. So it's like a balance. Boom, boom, boom. I really want it to be, I want to keep the color. So I don't want it to be straight, like straight black and white. So what I'm going to do is add adjustment layer, black and white. Create a clipping mask. Right now it's cool. And I'm just drop the opacity so it's not as harsh. Like that's off it. And then here we go. I want that little blue in there just so it gives us some contrast to split up the image a little bit. But in here, I really don't want that. <laughs> so I think I'll probably turn it up to the opacity to 100. Use the brush. Drop the opacity down to like 20%. And just clear it out a little bit. So we got a little bit of color in the background right there. And if you want to bring back some of the color, you press X. And that's going to swap right there. I don't love the text placement, but I don't want to spend an hour playing around with the text, you guys. I just want to show you guys the concepts of what you can do and what's possible with the cover arts and stuff like that. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I wanted to try to keep it as simple as possible so anybody could just hop in and just have like a cool, like looking aesthetic for their image. And I just want to be able to show you guys what you can do with some text. I'm saying I could have chosen different text, stuff like that, but I just want you guys to see what's going on and see what's popping you know what I'm saying there's so many different versions i could have done with this start with bobby make him smaller something like this i would have probably took the fabio form i would have turned it to the front i probably made it a little bit smaller i probably would have put that at the top And you know, I probably, probably, probably would have put the provincial advisory down here at the bottom, right there. Put that film my struggle where that's at, right here. Film my struggle. I'm gonna add the the skew, so I want to push it back a little bit, so it looks like it's like popping out a little bit. So like pull these out, pull the paint back into space like that. So it looks like it's coming from him. Command C. The Fabio Ford up there at the top. You want to even put it down here at the bottom. Either way, both flames, y'all. So like I said, that I literally showed you two different ways to do the same cover art, like. It's all about placement and what you want. You gotta make it fit the space and you, it's form over function. So the idea is to make sure you see what's, what needs to be seen, which is the font and the text and everything like that. And then fill in with everything else. Like I said, this is more of a, a plain, simpler, minimalist style for cover arts. It's not a bunch of add this light and add this light. You know what I'm saying? It's not always about that. It's just about conveying the message you know what I'm saying I feel like this speaks volumes without having too much going on it's just his eyes with the film I think pretty hits pretty hard all that stuff so turn this scribble down in the back it's a little bit too overpowering now but it's just enough boom all right you guys so I hope that helped you in some way shape or form to get the gears turning for your next design as always man let me know if i should bring back the bootleg tees y'all see this i made this back in like 2016 when i first like went to atlanta i had this line it looks all rusted and busted now because like i've worn it so many times but let me know if i should bring back the bootleg tees comment below are y'all gonna cut the bootleg tees if i come out with them because i got some i got some designs in the stash I got some designs in the stash, but y'all let me know if y'all cut my bootleg tees, man, for sure. But anyways, in the meantime, in between time, man, don't forget, man, keep learning, keep hustling. Most importantly, y'all, keep creating. And until next time, Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.